Hi, in this video, we're going to deal with the uh, urea cycle as well as the reactions that participate in the urea cycle. And then we'll also take a look at some of the uh, enzyme deficiencies that can lead to urea cycle disorders. Now, the main mechanism by which the body removes ammonia is uh, the urea cycle. Each urea molecule is very water soluble and contains two nitrogens. Um, and these nitrogens are donated by various molecules, as I will show you in the uh, urea cycle set of reactions. So let's take a look at the individual reactions. <clears throat> the first uh, nitrogen is donated by the amino acid glutamine. And glutamine, after donating its nitrogen, is converted to glutamate, uh, which can play an important role in the urea cycle. Um, we'll deal with that later. But the nitrogen that is uh, donated by glutamine then reacts with uh, bicarbonate, as you will see in this reaction. <clears throat> and in the presence of the enzyme CPS1 or carbamyl phosphate synthetase, one. Um, this uh, results in the formation of carbamyl phosphate, which is a very important intermediate, which will play a role in this step, which involves the conversion of ornithine to another intermediate, uh, which we call citrulline. And this reaction is catalyzed by OTC or ornithine transcarbamylase. And the citrulline, once formed in the presence of aspartate, <clears throat> which brings in the second nitrogen into this uh, urea cycle. And uh, in the presence of the enzyme ASS1 or arginino-succinate synthetase 1, um, we get the formation of arginino-succinate. The arginino-succinate is then uh, <clears throat> converted to arginine through the action of uh, arginino-succinate lyase. And once the arginine is formed, it is acted upon by the enzyme arginase, uh, which results in the conversion of arginine to two compounds, firstly to ornithine and secondly to urea. Now, if any of these enzymes are deficient, uh, it can result in what we call a urea cycle uh, disorder. And this is very important for you to know. And <clears throat> remember that um, a deficiency in any of those enzymes will result uh, in an elevation of ammonia in the blood, which we call hyperaminemia which can be pretty toxic uh, to neurons in the brain because it uses up the alpha ketoglutarate and the TCA cycle can't work. So the absence of the, the, the first enzyme, CPS1, it's a mitochondrial enzyme. And remember I told you that the, the glutamate is uh, converted to N-acetyl glutamate, which is a positive, positive allosteric regulator of uh, CPS1. Um, secondly, uh, we could have a deficiency of OTC, ornithine transcarbamylase, which is a mitochondrial enzyme. This is probably the most common uh, urea cycle disorder that you will encounter. And um, in this uh, deficiency, uh, we usually see an elevation of uh, ornithine because that is the substrate on which this enzyme acts. And so the substrate cannot be converted. Number three, uh, deficiency of ASS1, arginino succinase synthetase 1, that's a cytoplasmic enzyme. And in the deficiency of this enzyme, you are likely to see an elevation of uh, citrulline because that is the substrate on which this uh, enzyme works. Number four, the deficiency of arginino succinate lyase, ASL, which is a cytoplasmic enzyme. Here you are likely to see an elevation in both uh, citrulline as well as 
and elevation in <coughs> arginino succinic. And in number five, you could have a deficiency in arginase. Arginase is a cytoplasmic enzyme. And in the deficiency of this enzyme, you will see an elevation of <coughs> arginine. <coughs> 